What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of March of the Living. My name is Splattercat, happy to be your guide as we make our way through the final portion of the wasteland, hopefully landing in a safe place. So Olivia's got a shotgun, that's pretty cool, Tom's got earpieces. Obviously we'll put those together at some point and have a complete ear, you never know. We gotta pick a place to go on the map, and I'm thinking I'm gonna go to this little city over here to resupply. I'm a tiny bit worried about our food situation. I, now that we've got a bunch of people, that means that we're going to be consuming a lot more food. Oh man, there's a bunch of growls coming in. No, not our gr you, growls. Growls? It's actually predetermined. When the growls go up like that, I'm pretty sure it's predetermined. I've noticed it as I've been playing the game. You go into snipey mode. You go into, oh, I don't know. Just stand there for a second. It'll be fine. I will shoot some zombies. Oh, that one's moving pretty quick right there. It's because he got his hair did. That's why. Um... Yay, we killed the we killed the fast one with the nice hair that's apparently been using up all the hair grease. I would suggest maybe killing that one. And then since it's speedy too, we'll just have everybody run away. Kid, use yourself as a decoy. Allow me to stand here and snipe for a little while. Oh, we got that one too. Hooray! The gunnery is going well already. What a day to be in the wasteland. There's nothing like the smell of zombie blood in the morning. Oh no, my little kid's about to get bit. Please don't get bit, little kid. It would be amazing if you would not get bit. Oh no. She's missing all of her shotgun shots right now. Shotguns are weird like that. Like, the shotguns, I think the accuracy needs to be brought up on the shotguns or something. Oh, they miss a lot. I've noticed them about, I've noticed that about them. Even if your character's like a shotgun expert, they still miss a lot at point blank range. And I think that if somebody's an expert, that means that like no matter, well, she's got a darkness penalty too, never mind. Maybe I'm just bitching and moaning about nothing. Where is, where is Barry here? Barry, you want to go hit a guy in the face with a hammer for a second? There you go. That's what I like to see, Barry. Get him, Barry! Barry, our enemies in violence, in blood. Oh, Barry got bit again. That's not good. That's actually a really, really bad thing. We don't want Barry to be bit. When Barry gets bit, it makes me feel shit. And it really makes me feel like my life's not a hit. We can search the police station. Hold on. Police station didn't have good odds. Grocery store had okay odds, so I guess we'll go after that. Hopefully we don't get in too many fights. So we got four food rations right there. That's pretty good. And then we got people that need to eat. So obviously, we will do that in just a moment. The hospital. We need stuff for Barry. So we're just going to have to go in on that. We have no choice. Barry's going to die on us if I don't get him some kind of... Oh, man. We didn't get anything. That's unfortunate. That's very, very unfortunate. Well, drugstore, you have anything for me? Food rations, okay. I'll take food rations from the drugstore. Little snackies that we can hold on to while we travel the wasteland. I think we should go to the next town over since we had bad luck here. Barry's going to be losing one health a day due to the fact that he is infected. And so unfortunately, until we can get him some kind of penicillin or some kind of thing to make him feel better, we just got to patch him up the best that we can. A med kit would actually be the most suitable. But let's start firing with this rifle over here. These are slower zombies. Hmm... Might be able to do something against the slower zombies. There you go. Use oh the weapon jammed. Barry, your earwax got in the gun and ruined it. I knew it was gonna be you. Somehow I knew Barry was gonna ruin everything for me. All right. Well, we got one zombie down. I was hoping we have two or three down by now, but let's maybe go. And eh, just keep shooting. Whatever, Barry, get down in here. I'm gonna need you to start taking swings at some of your enemies. Oh, he got grappled even though he escaped. Oh, Barry's toast. Barry's toast. Sorry, buddy. We're going to have to bury Barry. It's going to be very, 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 Barry tomorrow. Oh, shit. Barry's dead as hell. Ew, I don't like how he slooches over like a slime either. Looks like when he died, he like lost all of his bones and just became like a human puddle. I like how the zombies just abandon the body afterwards, too. Some of them should stay back there. Just, they should stay back and chew on him a bit. It would make it more immersive and also easier for me to kill all of them instead of using up all of my ammos. Couple more zombies down. We probably want to use a whole bunch of shotgun shells here in order to make this work better. Um, just keep hitting things with a hammer, and then maybe Olivia, just kite him out a little bit. If we can kill stuff with a hammer, that'll be perfectly fine, and everything will be super swell. Uh, you didn't kill him with one hit, but sure. There's another miss. We'll have to do a little bit of dodging right here. Perfect. All taken care of. Well, we lost Barry, so that's unfortunate. No! Oh, I forgot to loot Barry. Damn it! 
Oh, this is my life. I forgot to loot Barry. Fine, everybody get back in formation. Our berryless formation. Our fruitless formation, I guess you could call it. Damn. That was a really big screw up on my part. He had a lot of loot on him. He had loot and he had guns that we could sell if we got to like a trade post or something. Urf. That is upsetting. That is deeply upsetting. Some kind of prompt might help maybe after somebody dies. Let's search the police station. We need bullets very, very badly, so we don't really have a choice over here. We have to go in on this one. We search. We get pistol bullets and a hammer, so that's pretty cool. We've got a grocery store and a hospital. Apartments, I always search. Eh, chances are kind of bad right there. Grocery store, okay chances on the 20. Eh. Just keep moving. Everything's going wrong right now, and so I'm really thinking that it might be wisest just to stay on the road and stay away from everything that wants to kill us. Let's rest for a little while. I realize that Olivia's going to get kind of hungry along the way, but I think she should be all right until morning without too many problems. If we could sleep to like maybe two or three in the afternoon, that would probably help us get a lot more done than we're doing right now. There we go. Perfect. So we'll wake everybody up, and I'm going to have everybody eat just so they're all in the same cooldown. I don't like it when they're on separate cooldowns, and i got to, like, one by one micromanage and feed people. So usually I try to wait until they're all in the same cooldown. Doesn't look like we're going to get an attack today, but there is a dead guy in the middle of the road. But the nice news is, Detonur, you're halted by a duo of gunslingers stepping in your path who start speaking rapidly at you in a language you don't understand. Adelante hay peligro. Regresa antes de que hagan daño. The leader shouts while pointing behind him. Both men with hands perched on their revolvers. They look like they mean business. Uh, I think he's saying to go back the way you came. There's danger or something like that. You attempt to communicate as best you can in English to the pair, but it soon becomes obvious that this is a fruitless task. They continue to speak rapid-fire Spanish at you, getting frustrated when they see you can't understand. From their arm gestures, though, you determine they want you to leave. Not wanting to cause trouble, you start backing away before they pull guns on you. It seems as though you got to find another path. Does that take me all the way back to the previous node? Oh, please tell me it doesn't take me all the way back to the previous node. I'd be so upset. Don't, don't, game? I think it did. Oh, man. All right, let's go around. Never mind. I can't really. I don't remember where I was on the map. Maybe it allowed me to be at the spot. I just wasted a bunch of time. I'm not really sure. We should continue traveling. We need to get everybody. Uh, I knew we were gonna get. Wow, that's so many zombies. Oh my god, there's like millions of them, and they're so fast. Yeah, everybody, run, run away. We can't win this fight. I hate running away in this game. Though running away in this game is the weakest. Oh, and he got a freebie hit. Come on. You're out of danger, but Olivia is nowhere to be found. We lost an entire character? That seems kind of heavy-handed to me. Like an inst a character instantly dies when you run away from combat? That seems really heavy-handed. That seems a tad over the top. Yikes. That's a bit over-punishing, because there was no way to win that fight. And so basically I just lost a character through no fault of my own. Ew. I don't like that. That leaves me with a bad taste in my mouth. A real bad taste in my mouth. I mean, if it can't be helped, it can't be helped, I guess. I'm not going to cry over spilt milk. At the end of the day, it's just a video game. But still, as far as balance is concerned, that seems over-punishing. Way over-punishing. Let's just make for the exit. we got to get the hell out of here. I'm going to go back the way that the guy... Uh, yeah. Let's go back the way that the guys were. And if we have to fight them, we have to fight them, I guess. We don't really have an option here. You came across two men pointing pistols at each other. Eric, where is it, you thief? William, it's mine now, so drop your gun before I add another hole to your body. Try to calm the situation. Eric, he stole my backpack. It took all my food. You stole it from a man you shot in the back, and my kid hasn't eaten in three days. I won't let a murderer get away with it. He's lying, and he doesn't even have a kid. This actually, there's no good outcome here. If you side with Eric, uh, he, does, he has a kid, and you look bad. And if you side with William, he doesn't have a kid. And so either way, you look like the bad guy, no matter what you do. It's, it's kind of a funny event like that. I, It's got a bad result either way. I think if you side with him, though, before you have a chance to say anything, William shoots Eric in the head. I might not have a kid, but he doesn't need the food anymore. Now get lost. Like hell you do, pal. Ain't nobody point a gun at me. It's time to die, son. About to rifle the hell out of this dude. Hold on, where's my rifle at? Where's my rifle at? There we go. Equip it. 
Oh, let's do this thing. We're going for the headshot. Going for the headshot. The 75% chance. Well, hope for the best. You shot my kid? That's so much blood to come out of a child. Oh my god. Pistol bullets, food rations, and food rations. That's not too bad. Although we did just use our child as a meat shield, so that's a little bit unfortunate. I'm sure there's going to be some psychological scarring there. But what can you do about the situation? Sometimes it goes that way and sometimes it doesn't. Such is life. Oh goody, it's going to rain now. Raindrops keep falling on the dead. And that makes them smell all super gnarly like a Zed. A few military vehicles are parked in the road with several soldiers on guard. You managed to get a glimpse of what they're doing, digging large holes. One of the soldiers spots you. You can't be here, but we'll finish up and be on our way soon. You can pass through then. Why aren't you digging? I can't tell you much, but the way we get rid of the bodies is by putting them in the hole and burning them. She looks over her shoulder and notices another soldier watching her. I'm sorry, but that's all I can tell you. You see the area behind her light up and hear the crackling of flames. Okay. Man, it is pissing down right now. It is gnarly raining. Oh my god. We should still be able to win, I think, as long as bad things don't keep happening. It looks like we've got a pretty good day right now. I'm going to stop and feed everybody in just a minute. And then we're also probably going to rest right here. Just to get that fatigue back before we go any further. We've got a very low amount of growls, which means that I'm thinking this is a great spot for us to take a little powwow and chill for a bit. You come across an overturned military jeep with the number 61 painted on the side. The radio is still working and emitting some general chatter. Colonel, give me the scissors. A voice comes from over the radio, barely audible, as though the person speaking doesn't know the radio's on. Then a bit louder. Look, I don't know if this thing is working, but we could use a hand here. Our coordinates are... You check your map and notice that it isn't too far, but then again, you don't know who you'd be helping. Okay, I'm not going to go out of my way for that one. I'm going to try and head straight for the goal. Oh, we got growls again. Yeah, we're going to get attacked. I've actually, I've seen it where... If you've got the speedy growls that are moving all over the place, I've seen it get down to one kilometer even though the meter's empty and then jump all the way up to full. I think it's predetermined. Like right now, we're definitely getting attacked no matter what we do. And so I'd like a way to offset that too as far as the game is concerned. I'd love to find a way to maybe lower your growls or something and make life a little bit easier. I, I don't really know how they would do that, but it would nice to be able to, it'd nice to be, be able to like offset that somehow so that like you can avoid a fight. Since running away and fighting are both so expensive, no matter what you do, you lose out. And so, we are going to run away, uh, I don't know, maybe, if I can shoot some of these guys. No, don't do that. Oh, the weapon jammed at the worst possible moment. Oh my god, I don't even know if I can outrun the faster ones. That's the really concerning part, is that I don't know if I can get far enough away to snap off a shot. Yeah, we're just barely getting enough of a gap. And then when you click, he steps back over and shoots at him. Yeah, we're not getting that off. Hmm. I don't know what to do right now. If I had a pistol or something, maybe. Or a shotgun, possibly. But since we lost the shotguns when Olivia ran off... Oh, two damage right there. Yeah, the ones with the shirts and the hair, like the weird hairstyles or whatever, they're quite a bit faster and stronger than the other ones. I don't know what the shit we're going to do here. This is all bad. We may just have to try and escape. Oof. Escalation is real right now. Yeah, we're lacking any real utilities to get us out of this situation, so... We're gonna have to run for it. Yep. Lost eight shotgun shells. Well, that's not too bad in the greater scheme of things. That's not too ugly. We could have lost a lot worse things there, so I'll take it. It does, however, take us back to the previous node, which is really problematic. So we'll reload there. We're almost out of bullets, which is very, very not good. Um, we'll eat. I guess we'll head back this way. We don't really have a choice, I guess. I <laughs> This is looking pretty this is looking pretty dour. Things are not looking good. Things are looking quite quite scraggly at the moment, to use a kind word for describing the situation. 
I don't think I've ever seen a run fall apart this fast. I mean, if it hadn't just taken Olivia from us for nothing, I, I think we'd probably be okay right now, but it deducting a member of our party automatically as a lose criteria for running away is a really, really... The long grind of the journey is starting to wear on you, so you decide to stop by one of the few small fortified communities dotted around the place to catch up on some rest. You sign the logbook with a flourish and enter the town of Condor. Walking around the town square, you see a man all suited up standing on a small wooden crate tied to a wooden pole between some tents. You notice that nobody else seems to be paying attention to him. You stop a passing citizen and ask why the man was tied up. Oh, him the citizen snorts. His name is Elliot. Sheriff Jackie caught him trying to escape from his cell, so to be safe, she bound him to a pole so he wouldn't be able to move. Between you and me, though, she probably just tied him up for the sake of it. Bad blood between those two. Huh. I guess we'll ask the sheriff. Sheriff proves easy to find as she's fast asleep in a rocking chair with a shotgun in her lap. You try to rouse the woman from her slumber by repeatedly shouting, Hey, Jackie, causing more than a few stares from passing civilians. You ignore him. What do you want, she says, eyes closed, half asleep. You tell her that you want Elliot. Take him, then. I don't care. Leave me alone. Amazingly, she falls back asleep in seconds. Clearly, she had too many drinks. This will free him? You wait until no one is looking before walking over, stepping behind Elliot and untying the ropes. He looks at you slightly confused but grateful at the same time. Meet me outside, he whispers before running off. You leave the town and hang around until you spot Elliot climb over the fortifications, landing deftly on his feet. He waves you over. Seriously, thanks again for saving me. I know we just met, but would you mind me tagging along for a while? I get the sneaking suspicion Jackie's going to try and castrate me when she finds out I'm gone. Well, I mean, obviously I'm going to help you save your balls. Right, some things are sacred. I can't let another man lose his balls. It's just... If balls are at stake, I feel like as a man, we have a common camaraderie to help each other out. Like, I would hope that any other dude, if my balls were at stake, and they had the ability to stop my balls from being lost, they would help with it. That's all that I'm saying. So we'll move some stuff around. We'll make him a melee. Let's go to the distress call. We may get ghouled on this one. I don't know. I'm going to put everybody in formation just in case. We might make it, but we might not. The meter's hard to read right now. And a meter reader, I am not. Neither a meter reader, nor a greeter, nor a eater, nor a beater. Nor a sleeter. A neater. Oh, shit. Oh, no, 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 what's going Oh, he's got the wrong one. Why did it reset his shooting type? Oh, no. Why is his shooting type reset? Oh, that's so upsetting. Okay, so let's get everybody... Get everybody moving here, just in case. Dad's going to have to shoot that zombie right there, although he's got to wait until he's got a better hit chance, maybe. Oh, he bit my kid again. No, stop biting my children. There we go. So Dad saved the kid. Now it's going to be down to Elliot trying to whack some of these dudes. But... Oh, no. Oh, no. They both have the same portrait. That's what's throwing me off. Sir, I'm having trouble with my controls right now, and it's because Tom and Elliot have the same portrait, even though Tom has brown hair. It's throwing me off. It's throwing me for a loop while I'm trying to select characters. Damn. Okay, I've just got to... So Tom is two, and Elliot's three. All right, I'll, I'll just have to remember it by number instead of by looking at the portrait and then hitting the number. He can probably get that guy before anything else goes wrong. A little bit of hammer time in there, so that's another zombie down. If I can use the other two to tank for him while saving ammo by hitting zombies in the face with a bat, I think that might be the easiest way to accomplish most of the stuff that we're trying to throw down on right now, but frankly, I can't honestly tell you. It's not looking good for us right now. Let me micro a little bit and see if I can beat some of these zombies down. I'll worry about the other three in just a minute. So there's one down. Tell them to come back across the map. I, I do think the combat system could use some work in this game. I think it would work better as a turn-based system. I really sincerely do because the real-time system is very clumsy and sort of like weird to wrap your head around. Like the dodging thing is kind of odd. I don't know. I think I would have much rather had it on like a grid or something like that to make it a little bit more manageable. Because you're basically doing the same amount of micromanagement you would do in a turn-based game anyways. So at that point, I figure, why not just make it turn-based? There we go. God. Far more effort than I wanted. There's some shotgun shells aren't really going to help us much. Back on the road again. Growl's rocketing up to maximum. Unfortunately, we got to live with it. You arrive and find an unusual scene. Two soldiers are grappling with each other, and one of them appears to be trying to stab the other with a pair of scissors. Let's break them up. 
Who will intervene? Elliot! Wait, why did Tom lose 2 HP? The hell? Well, I checked the footage and I selected Elliot. Tom rushes over to break the two of them apart and is rewarded with a cut across the cheek. Nevertheless, the men stop grappling with one another, but the man with the scissors takes the opportunity to slit his own throat. And after all I did to stop him, the other man sighs. We both got infected. He thought we should end it now and leaves you alone with the dead body. Yeah, I checked the footage. I checked the footage and it said that I picked Elliot and for some reason Tom lost the HP. And I'm not totally sure why? I don't know what to say about it, really. I have no idea where to take... I, I guess it's a bug or something. I'm not really sure. Doesn't matter. Whatever. Off on the road we go. Hopefully we can avoid getting too many growls on the way in. I am not feeling confident about any of this. Things have gone from bad... Like, things have gone from so good to so bad so quickly. And I don't know how to get around that. It's kind of upsetting. It's a little bit of a downer. I, I'm having trouble with my morale at the moment. My morally is definitely... It's dropping. It's dropping hard. Rest a little bit before we get into town here. <laughs> He's sleeping with footsies to the zombie. If I can't sleep footsies to a zombie, then I don't want to sleep at all. Tom is pretty beat up right now. Tom's having a rough day. You arrive at a hastily constructed checkpoint. People manning the station warn you that up ahead on the road, anti-personnel mines have been planted by a paranoid militia group calling themselves the Second Revolution. Signs have been placed at both ends of the known minefield to mark it out. They suggest that you take an alternative route to your destination as they can't guarantee you'll make it through with all your limbs intact. Yeah, let's definitely not go through a minefield. That'd be great. You're not running over a minefield seems like the best idea. Minefields are not to be messed with. Minefields are kind of gnarly. It's minefield, which is not your field. It's mine, minefield. I suppose we're almost there. Oh my god, we're so close. I know we can do this. I just... <laughs> let me have this. Eat some food. We can still get out of this intact, but it's definitely been a costly journey. It's hoping for something a little bit more flawless, and it looks like we're not going to get an attack on the way into the final area. God, I hope this just ends at the end. If it doesn't end at the end, I'm going to cry. You arrive in Wellston exhausted from your journey. You take a moment to analyze the safest way to reach the docks on a city map you find on the sidewalk. The map is tainted with blood. The previous owner must have met a dire fate. The docks are on the other side of the city and reaching them might prove difficult. Even if the docks might be secured, the streets of the city could be very well filled with the infected. I We've got a special option for Elliot, so I figure we should probably use it, right? It's to find a car and race our way through to the docks. We agree to find Elliot with finding a car to get to the docks quickly. You find a car with enough fuel to get to the docks, but unsurprising that the car won't start. Don't worry, it's surely nothing. I can fix it. By the way, would you take care of those growlers while I fix the car? I guess? I don't know. I, uh... Run, kid! Run! Oh my god, kid. Keep your... Run for it, kid. Run for it. Somehow I've got to kill all these zombies. I can't control Elliot right now, by the way. He is stuck by the car. He is stuck by the car. I'm not even messing with you. So unfortunately, there's not much I can do for him. I can try and melee this dude over here. But then... No, kid! Run, kid! Run! Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Apparently my child is dead. Tom, your one and only child has perished. He joins his mother in whatever comes after this life. No! Game over! Alright, I'm... I, I can't do it. March of the Living, everybody. I'm so upset right now. On the final tile, I'll see all of whatever comes next. I can't do it. If you want to see another playthrough, you can comment, but I can't do it. Farewell, everybody.